This video is sponsored by Rhino Shield. Rhino Shield is one of the finest brand making some outstanding quality of smartphone covers. The most important thing is the durability, as these cases are hard to break and not just small drops but even heavy impacts will not damage your smartphone with these cases. Plus they look quite cool and luxury. Also you can personalize the case as you like. You can even engrave your name on the case just like this. Rhino Shield makes cases for most of the popular smartphones. You can visit their website to see more information. You will get 10% discount if you buy from my referral links which are given below. So all the details are given in the description below. You can check it out. Hey guys, welcome to my new video. iOS 14 is just announced and the list of things people were waiting for in iOS is finally here. Right from redesigned home screen, support for widgets, a new incoming call small banner and a tons of cool new features. iOS 14 will be officially ready for public by September 2020 when Apple will launch their new iPhones. But the developer beta 1 is here now giving us a glimpse of what's coming in iOS 14. I will provide you the links in the description to download the beta version if you wish to. But keep in mind it's a beta version so it will not run smoothly. It will definitely have some occasional hiccups and issues. So do it on your own risk. If it's your first time in my channel kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon to see more tech videos in the future. And please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video. In this video I'll talk about some of the major changes and cool features in iOS 14. But surely I'll be making more videos covering most of the features of iOS 14 in my future videos. So stay tuned by subscribing. This video is time coded. You can go to your favorite feature by clicking on the time frame. Now let's start the video. This one is long awaited as it's so annoying when you're doing something on your iPhone and there's an incoming call which takes over the entire screen. Why it took Apple so long to figure this one out? Probably courage, I guess. In iOS 14, space saving measures means incoming phone calls no longer takes over the entire screen. Now phone calls and FaceTime calls will show up in a small banner on the iPhone's display. You can attend the call or minimize it if it's not important. But still when you attend the call it takes over the full screen which we can attend the call and keep it minimized. Tap at the back. Now this is one of the coolest feature I would say in iOS 14. Go to settings, accessibility, go to touch. Scroll down there is a back tap option. Click on that. Now you get two options to customize double tap and triple tap. Click on double tap and choose any action for example control center and now go back and choose the triple tap option. Again choose another option example screenshot. You can choose any option as per your liking. Now once you enable this back tap actions whenever you will double tap from the back of your device it will open control center and when you triple tap it will take a screenshot and it works seamlessly even if you have a case or a cover on your iPhone. Isn't it cool? New Siri. With every iOS update, there's a new improvements in Siri. Same goes for this year. Now when your phone is in silent mode and you enable Siri, it will work silently. Also, it has a beautiful new animation. What's the time in Doha? What is 2 plus 4 plus 7? What is the time in Los Angeles? and it does not take over the whole screen like before and allows you to keep doing your work while chatting with Siri. There is a new much needed camera feature in iOS 14. So while shooting videos, you will get an option to change the video modes, for example, 1080p or 4K or HD by just tapping on the mode number. Not only that, you will also see a small green light. When you swipe down, you will see which application is using the camera. And also there is a red light which tells you which application is using the microphone. Search for emoji. Apple is making it easy for you users to search for an emoji now. Not everyone has a good understanding of emojis. So it's a welcome addition as now you can type the keyword like happy, sad or congrats and instantly you will see the relative emojis to choose from. Translate. iOS 14 has a new application called Translate. I'm sure this is definitely inspired from Google Translate app which is one of the best I would say. Now you can translate in few languages. I'm sure with time it will support more languages and it also works in landscape mode. It's good to have a dedicated translation app. Hopefully in future, there will be more precise conversation mode in the application. App library. When you are swiping on your home screen to extreme right, you have now an app library. Basically, it arranges all the apps with the nature of the app. Like all productivity apps together, all creative apps together, all social apps, entertainment apps together, which is quite good and I must say the folder looks quite neat. Also, you can click on the search option and quickly scroll down all the application on your iPhone. 
and if you are used to the old way of swiping down from anywhere and search for your favorite app, it's still there. Picture in picture is not something new for an Android user, but it's good to see Apple is bringing this useful feature to iOS. In iOS 14, now when you are playing any video from your Apple TV or Netflix, you can come out of the video and it will still be playing in a minimized window. While you can use any other application, you can change the size of the video and even keep it on the side of the screen. The audio will still be playing. This also applies to a FaceTime call you can minimize them and keep using your iPhone for other applications while chatting with your friends in a minimized window. It doesn't work for YouTube application at the moment, but I'm sure developer will definitely take a note of that iMessage. One of the strongest reasons iPhone users find it difficult to switch to Android is iMessage. This year, Apple is adding some more cool functionality to iMessage. Now you can pin your favorite chat on the top rather than scrolling through all your chats. Also, there is some new N emojis added by Apple. And going by the current situation, there is also a face mask N emoji, which you can easily customize as per your liking. App Clip. Apple has added app clips to iOS 14, letting users to take advantage of some application features without needing to download their full application. App clips can let you do things like rent a scooter, purchase a coffee, make a restaurant reservation, or fill a parking meter just by scanning a code with no need to download the full application. Apple describes app clips as just a small part of an app experience designed to be found in the moment it's needed. App clips work through Apple designed app clip codes, NFC tags, or QR codes, and can also be seen shared in iMessage or from Safari. One of the most important and much needed change in iOS 14 is widgets. Now you can have widgets on every home screen and not just one widget, but as you like to customize your home screen, and I must say it looks quite awesome. When you scroll to your left, you have all your widgets. Press and hold on any widget and choose the option edit home screen. You will see a plus icon on the top left. Click on that. You will get all the option of your favorite widget. For example, when you choose battery, it will show you three different widgets you can choose from. You can choose your favorite and click add widget to add to your widget page. Same way you can customize your home screen. Also the most interesting and the most innovative is the stack widget, which is like a morning briefing. You can see it while having your cup of tea or coffee in the morning by scrolling through all the necessary information like news, calendar appointments, stock market, reminder, etc. When you click on the weather widget, it will give you more precise information and a detailed weather information. Another important widget is battery widget. Now you don't have to scroll down to see your battery percentage, especially for the iPhones with face ID like 10 and above. When you tap and hold any icon and click on the edit home screen and click on the three dots, you get to choose your home screen. Suppose you don't like a lot of home screen as your iPhone looks too busy. You can choose from your favorite one with your main applications and disable the other home screens iOS 14 is like a breath of fresh air. It brings some much needed useful features we all have been waiting for. There are more features which I'll be covering in my next videos. But to be honest, there are some more features I was expecting in iOS 14. For example, like one click app closure button and a proper split screen multitasking. But hopefully Apple will listen with new updates. That's all for this video guys. If you have reached till here, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. See you soon in my next one. Till then goodbye and peace and blessings. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon. So you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.